Hey everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make your first game series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add data stores and how to check uh, who is the winner of the game. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunderbolt tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to enter the main game loop script and what I want to do is lower these... Uh, uh, wait times just to make this a little easier to test. I'll just make this uh, eight seconds and okay, that's good. Now what we need to do is to uh, remove the player from the participants table when they die. So in here, when they touch the lava part, what we're gonna do is to to, to avoid doing uh, repeating this uh, a million times. What we need to do is check if humanoid uh, dot health is not equal to zero. Then. Then we can do all of this. And the next thing I want to do is get the player from the character. So local player is going to be players colon get player from character hit dot parent. The reason why we are given hit dot parent is because um, let's say the player touches the part with the lava part with the uh, humanoid root part. The, hum the humanoid root part is inside the character. So when you uh, give it hit dot parent. Hit is going to be the humanoid root part, and the parent is going to be the character. So we are pretty much just getting the player from the character here. And the next thing we need to do is get the player from the participants table. So local uh, participant, not participants, participant equals uh, table dot find uh, participants comma participant. Uh, actually, I kind of messed up. Uh, participants comma participant. Uh, okay, uh, come up player, sorry. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to just check if participant is not equal to nil. Then we're going to do a table dot remove participants, comma, participant. Okay, so let's try that out. And after we do that, I just want to print the uh, participants table. And we will also add a print uh, when we uh, add all of the players to the participants table. Let's just double check that everything will work. I think it should be fine. So I'm going to play the game now. Uh, it will say game will be starting in five seconds. Okay. Let's just wait. And okay, five seconds is over. Choosing map. Uh, chosen map, map one. Okay, I'll just climb here. I don't want to go too high. I don't want to wait for the lava a little too long. So, let's just wait one second, the lava will start rising. As you can see, it's printed participants with Polaris proc, and when I die, participants is now empty, which is a good thing. Okay, now, the next thing we need to do is, uh, let's just check something here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this print participants, and we'll have a winner variable up here. So, local winner, uh, I'll just put it here, local winner. Actually, we can just do this here. Local winner will be equal to nil. Okay, uh, now in here, uh, so the winner is going to be the last remaining player. So what we're going to do is uh, in here, we will just check if hashtag participants, not participant. So we're going to check if um, the amount of of uh, players that are in the participants table is equal equal to one, then the winner will be uh, the participant or the player. Sorry, and yeah, that should be it. Then we can just do this. Uh, now in here we're gonna do repeat task dot wait uh, until uh, participants. Uh, we'll just do participants is equal hashtag participants is less or equal to one. Uh, what am I doing? Equals equals zero or is less or equal to zero. Yeah, that should be it. Actually, just just be equal equals zero. Uh, okay, here what we need to do is to just wait one more second and uh, status dot value equals uh, the winner is dot dot. Uh, sorry, the dot dot should be here dot dot winner dot name uh, or maybe the display name if you want you could do that dot dot and just an exclamation sign 
let's now remove this test not wait 100 and instead of that i want to display this message for let's just say through four seconds maybe that's a little too much three seconds uh then we can do the other stuff again so uh in this case the winner will always be me of course because i'm the only player in the game so we're just going to wait uh two seconds one i'll just cut the recording and i'll unpause the recording when i get killed okay so the lava is starting to rise and let's just double check here uh the winner should be polaris prog so it will say the winner is polaris prog okay uh it displayed it for three seconds and now it should start the new game but this is all going to be messed up because we did not delete the old map so what i'm going to do is uh when we display the winner we're gonna do a random map or chosen uh i forgot what it was called random map uh call and destroy let's make sure that it's random map uh yep okay so we're gonna destroy it and now what i want to do is um yeah that's pretty much all i need to do really uh, maybe table dot clear just table dot clear um Let's just clear the participants table just to make sure that everything is working fine. And we're going to replay this. Okay, the lava is rising and uh, it should say the winner was Polaris Prog. The winner is Polaris Prog, okay. Good. Starting game and it should put the random map again. Uh, also, we didn't give the player wins. I forgot about that. Let's just, okay, we'll say chosen map, map one. Okay, everything works fine. Now, what we need to do is give the player wins. So we have this leader slash script here. And what we need to do is just set this wins dot value uh, and add one to that. So what we will do here is just uh, winner dot leader stats leader stats without a capital um an uppercase l uh dot uh wins dot value equals a uh, winner dot leader stats dot wins dot value plus one or a simpler way would be plus equal one uh, it will pretty much do the exact same thing let's just double check if everything works fine Okay, I should get my win. Let's see. Okay, it gave me a win. Good. Now, what if everybody that's inside the, the that's uh, inside the uh, game and inside the participants table leaves, or if one of them leaves? Uh, what we need to do is uh, in here we're gonna do players. Dot player removing colon connect function. Uh, actually, we'll do this in here, or else I don't think it will work. We'll just do this in here. Uh, dot player removing colon connect function. That's going to take the player. Uh, and what we're going to do is if table dot find participants comma player, then uh, table dot remove table dot find dot find. Actually, table dot remove uh, participants comma table dot find participants comma player. Okay, that should be good, and the reason why, I think I already said this, but yeah, this requires an index. Uh, let's just make sure that this is working. I'm just going to print player.name.left. I want it to, to uh, override the while loop, so that's why I'm trying to double check. Let's just wait until I get added to the participants table then everything should be fine okay chosen map okay i think everybody's in the table now and i'll just leave and players prog left okay so that works now what i want to do is uh, test that out with two players to show you guys that it's working so i'm going to start a two player server and i'll just record my whole screen instead of just robot studio okay so i'm recording my whole screen now Let's just uh, do this. Okay. Um, I want uh, player 2 to, to win. So I'll just go up here. 
So the lava is rising, this guy will get killed first. And I think player 2 will win, of course. And uh, player 2 won, hopefully. Yep, the winner is player 2. Okay, uh, now it will start the game again, and I want to see what happens when I leave. Choosing map. Uh, choose the map, map 1, of course. And uh, I just want this guy to leave. And uh, let's see who's going to win now. Okay, um, I should win. Okay, so we know that that works. Uh, and yeah, I think this is... No, not yet, actually. I'm not going to end the tutorial here. Uh, what I want to do is add a data store. So, uh, I need to record only Marvel Studio again. Okay, I also changed my font because I think this font looks really clean. Uh, okay, so in here we will just do players dot player moving font connect function layer. Okay, so when the players are moving, we first need to get the uh, data store service. Look, data store service equals game plug get service data store service, and in here what we're gonna do is uh, p call function. And we're just going to do data store service on set async on set. Oh, we need to create a data store. I totally forgot about that. Local, let's just call it a data store equals data store service con get data store. And we'll just give it a key. I'm just going to say uh, uh, data store one. Okay, so uh, con set, okay, we're going to do data store on set async, not data store service, data store, on set async, and we're just going to do player.user ID, so we need a unique key, and we're just going to call it wins, and uh, what we need to save is uh, um, the player.leaderstats.leaderstats.wins.value, uh, okay, now in here, we need to uh, load those wins, so Equal function, and we're gonna have a variable here local uh, uh, saved wins amount equals zero for nil. Now we're gonna do if oh, actually, we just need to do um, saved wins amount equals data store serve data store colon get async. Now, in here, we set async, and in here, we're gonna say get async. So, in here, we set the data to the player's user ID and uh, uh dot dot wins just to make it better uh you don't have to add this dot dot wins you can literally just use the user id uh and do, in here we save the players wins value and when we join uh we have to get that data that we saved so get async and we'll just do player dot user id dot dot wins same thing as here and you don't need to type in uh, player.leader.wins.value because in here we are just getting it and the pickle what the pickle does is it just uh it doesn't error when the script breaks because this could fail data store data stores can fail sometimes and we don't want that to break our game so in here i'm going to do if saved wins amount is not equal to nil then what we're going to do is uh wins dot value equals saved wins amount okay let's try that out but by the way this will not work unless uh you enable sort of your access to api service i'm gonna show you how to do that okay i'm back to recording my whole screen and i'll just go to game settings uh, security and just allow studio access to api services okay you should be good now if i just play the game and give myself something like 10 wins uh 10 wins and we just leave the game and rejoin i should okay as you can see i have my 10 wins so we are a data source okay so, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helps make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye